off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay friends don't know what to do with my hair today because I'm not doing anything but it's not long enough to really pull back and I can't pull it back myself and I can't keep asking Jason to pull it back every time it falls out I'm in a conundrum these days I spent a vast majority of my weekend relaxing doing nothing taking naps. I literally probably spent 90 percent 80 percent of my day yesterday saturday and friday well not all of friday in that bed quite literally in the bed just i'm like fine i'm just gonna rest i'm not gonna do anything i'm going to let my body heal um it's too exhausting to go out and about and then recover for eight hours so it's hard to like bring you content when i'm <laughs> in that bed all day every day but i have to do it I, I've been watching like recovery videos of people still recovering from this surgery. Um, I've been watching ones that were like four weeks out, six weeks out, and even a year out. And the one that I just watched this morning, the girl that was a year out from recovery, um, she was like, I'm going to just say this. She's like, the only snafu I had in my recovery. And um, she's like, maybe it's like having babies where you kind of forget the pain. <laughs> from delivery and whatnot, but she's like, the only thing that I remember being, she's like, obviously surgery is hard and you, you, you know, you have pain, you take medication and you recover. Um, but she's like, the only snafu that really kind of got to me was at the two, three week mark where I felt fine. I, I'm not in any pain necessarily. I'm a little discomfort. The scars are starting to kind of feel weird, um, but I feel fine and I'm functioning and I'm not sleepy anymore. And She's like, I literally did dishes. Even though the doctor told me, don't do dishes, don't do laundry, don't bend over. She's like, I just did dishes. I just washed dishes in the sink. But it meant she had to bend over, she had to reach, she had to pull, she had to lift, and she tore. She tore <laughs> a stitch and had to go and have it looked at, at, you know, and the surgeon was like, yeah, told you. Told you not to do anything. Um, mine didn't tear because I did anything. Mine tore literally in the office during the exam. I don't think I did anything. At that point in the game, I wasn't doing anything to like cause that stitch to break loose. But it does have me like overly cautious to like not do anything. But I also have like this little mental game going on right now because I have a, a few people and I know it's not the majority of the people who are here supporting my channel. But I have a few people who are here um, to just troll me. I'm gonna block you because I don't need the negativity. I dread looking at my comments every day. I don't have my phone right here, but I used to look forward to looking at my comments and talking to you all and like having conversations and like helping each other and motivation and like, what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna walk today? Like I have DMs, private DMs, like, okay, where are we gonna walk to get today? What are we gonna do? You know, how to motivate each other. On the past weekend, I have, re I just, I don't wanna look at the messages because these people are on here to just troll me and like, you're fat. Why, why did you take the easy way out with this surgery? Why don't you just get liposuction? And I've deleted the comments because I don't need to see it myself over and over. Um, it kind of tears me up inside every single time I see the comments. I don't like them attacking Jason and I don't want them to start attacking you guys because that would hurt me a lot because you guys have been here to support me. I don't care if there's 10 of you. Um, I think there's more of you than comment um, that are here to support and I don't, it doesn't bother me that you don't comment because I feel like you are here to support and that's great. But it makes me hesitant to pick up the camera because I have this motivation in my head now that I've done this surgery. I didn't know that I was gonna do this. I have this new motivation in my head to not only get out and back, get back out and walk and exercise again, but also like I've been looking at different routines to like lose my stomach weight, like lose the pouch that I have in my stomach. Now that it's more pronounced and more visible, like it was still there, like it's not that I gained that pouch just from laying in my bed for three weeks. Um, I know it, it was there, but I have like this new motivation to like do these simple exercises here at home to help with that and to get myself motivated to lifting weights and, and doing that kind of stuff. Um, but I physically can't. Like I physically am not allowed to do anything right now. And I have weeks to go before I can even like think about doing anything like that. I want to slowly start to walk, um, but like it hurts to walk. The incisions and the scar tissue really hurt 
to walk. And so I'm just starting slow. That's why I like to get out of the house at least once a day um, so that I can walk. And I'm only up to a mile a day total walking. And that hurts and that puts me in bed for a whole weekend. So I will continue to block the trolls because I don't need that negativity here. But I just want you guys to know that like um, I didn't take the easy way out with this surgery and I won't do liposuction for my stomach. I will do the hard work. I don't have the greatest habits. I don't cook well. I don't like cooking. Um, all of that stuff is true. Um, but I am human and I have feelings and I have life habits that have to change and that's what I'm trying to do. That's the whole point of all this is that I'm trying to change all that. But it's not gonna happen overnight. And I'm not gonna show you guys all of those things, even those of you that do support me, I'm not gonna show you all of those changes. I've already said before, I'm not gonna show you what I eat every single meal, every single day. I'm not gonna, I don't like cooking. And right now I can't, I can't cook, I can't chop. I can't, I can't do that stuff. I don't know where I'm going with this. It's just hard to pick up the camera when I don't do anything all day. And then it's hard to be motivated to want to when I worry about like being attacked for being me. And I know I'm not perfect and I make mistakes and it is what it is. And I, but I need to like, Jason tells me, he's like, just let the comments be there because that speaks to the algorithm that'll tell YouTube to let people come and watch the channel. But I don't want to bring trolls to the channel. Like I don't want that energy coming to the channel. So that's just kind of the, the headspace that I'm in right now. I'm trying to get out of it. I'm trying to like distract myself when I am just resting. I think I've read four books since I started this recovery. I'm on my fifth one. I read one in a whole 24 hour period because I couldn't sleep because I sleep so much and rest so much during the day that I can't sleep at night. And so not last night, but the night before, I turned on a brand new book at 8 p.m. when I got into bed and I was 60% done with it when I turned off my phone at 2 a.m. and then woke up at 8 a.m. Well, I went to, yeah, no, whatever. I went to church listened to it, getting ready for church, went to church, came home, got back into bed, and finished the book yesterday afternoon. In a tw not even a 24 hour period, I read a book, or I listened to it. <laughs> um, I'm trying to like distract my head from some of this negativity and the recovery and the motivation I have inside to get out and about, but I can't. <sighs> All right, we are heading to Costco. We are gonna make it a very quick trip. Jason has the list this time, right Jace? Yep. Trying to get the good light. It's very overcast. It's only 66 degrees. And I have been getting cold at Costco, even when it's warm <laughs> outside. Um, so I am gonna wear my new little sweatshirt that I got. We're gonna go with the fall vibes right here with the colors that I'm wearing. I'm not feeling like hot pink summer um, right now with the cold weather. So I'm gonna wear my little fall colors. I'm gonna wear my jacket. Found this jacket. I don't know if I showed you guys. I found this jacket at The Gap when I was at, with Abby. Um, I think I was just done with the day at that point and I couldn't film anymore. <laughs> but I did find that um, sweatshirt. But I did want to tell you guys, despite the, the mode and mood that I'm in that we just talked about, I am at a new low, even by two ounces. <laughs> I am a new low. So the fact that I have gotten back to my low um, after surgery and not having exercise um, and laying in bed all day <laughs> every day i think it's pretty impressive that i am at a low um in my weight journey so i am very confident that once i am able to start working out and start walking and start lifting weights and start doing some exercises to help me that it's going to go down from there so all right not too much out of the ordinary we are out of frozen fruits we got that one and some strawberries orange chicken are on rebate so we picked up that, Propel, milk, Cheetos, Cheetos for the kids, and maybe for me, I don't know. Eggs, corn on the cob was different. This time I had a hunkering for corn. Hankering, um, hankering whatever. Um, the chocolate drinks for Ashley, the protein drinks, fruit, and we already have tons of veggies. So he's been looking at getting some of our employees something, a little something extra. Special. Let me show you frame. what, what they you. would get. They, she, she watches. I don't want to like ruin a surprise or anything or change it. So can't talk about it. But I would love to get this. And I have never gotten this before. Yeah. I don't know. I hmm. didn't know what it was, but it's... That's a really fun idea. 
That's a really fun anniversary idea, hun. Or birthday idea. Hey, next year I'll get for you. He's so bad with surprises. You have a key? I have the key, yep. Okay, so me and a couple helpers here, we're gonna go to the post office and check on a package from somebody. One of our viewers, actually. What? Oh, you want the key? And The box? Wow, that is cool. Okay, now we got that cool, pretty color package. Now we're off to get my hair cut while well, these two go to Target and look at a few things. Well, the girls went off to Target and I went over to get my hair cut, but they are, uh, the hair place is closed on Monday, so I can't go. You don't know what you need or want? Well, What is it? Peanut butter pie. What's the difference? Uh, the peanut butter pie has chocolate in it, but then the peanut butter has it. Okay, because they're out of the other peanut butter Oreos, right? Yep. Empty, empty. You, well, you can't just chow down on a whole one. I'll share it with Chelsea. Okay, we'll get Chelsea something else too. What are you doing? Seeing which one's foot most full. Wait, you, you squeeze them and think one's more full than the other? Yeah. Does that work? Yeah. They don't all fill the same. <laughs> all right. So that's for Chelsea? Yeah. You're a nice sister. No, you kind of force me to do it. To Target, did Dad get his haircut? No. Is he going back to get it now? They're closed on Mondays. Oh, that's why they didn't answer the phone. That's unfortunate. I can't cut his hair, and he these guys don't want to cut it. So, but we got a fun package in the mail from Patty. The ones that we met, they came here to Seattle on their way to Hawaii. So give them a shout out for this wonderful package. But you got to see the box. The box alone, it is so pretty. And now I want to get the iridescent tape that she has. <laughs> Look how cute this box is. It's got the iridescent on the top. I know, you can see the tape is like iridescent. So cute. P please keep this box this Five side minutes. up. Okay, so Abby's going to cut into it. Kaylee, did you want to see what's in here? Get Chelsea. She's asleep. She can wake up. Oh my gosh, I love the inside. I love the stripes. Careful, don't cut. Cute. Yeah. All right, what's in here? Oh my gosh, oh, it's like these so trash. many goodies. <gasps> How fun, Ash. Let's see, what does it say? Hobby these, hobby. thought these beads looked Just like Hawaiian hibiscus flowers and some pretty thread to make the bracelets. Oh my, cute. You got that for Chelsea and Ash. How cute. Read the, read the back of it, I Ash. Tried okay. Said, I tried the high chew, didn't care for them. <laughs> thought you may have I'll enjoy them since your Maui uh -huh. vlog. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I can't read cursive. Okay. Oh, Bath and Body Works coupon. Oh, okay. So she thought that we would enjoy these because of what we got from Bath and Body Works before. $15. Sorry. Ooh, look at that. What in the world? Oh, hi, Abby. That one is. I was like, I'll take that. Mine says. Uh, Thought you would like Thank this. You. Thought you what? I can't read Chris, so oh, cute. I need more of these ones. Ash, those oh, those are for Chelsea. 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 That's totally Chelsea. Or Dash. And then Kaylee. More lotions. More lotions. Fun. DoorDash. Sweet. Mom. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. She sealed it up and sent it back because she didn't like it. She wanted us to have <laughs> That's what she meant. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that. You can have those, Abby. That's fun. Oh, then the, uh, watermelon. I've never had watermelon once. I'll take that one. For your ninja smoothies, pineapple, something, dollar. I don't know. Oh, well, there's probably something in here. Yeah. There's a bunch of these. Oh, yeah. Sanitizers. You guys can have those for school. How fun. 
see there's a tag in here. Yeah, Chelsea, some paint brushes to use for all your beautiful paintings and a gift card for Ashley, for you and Ashley um, to shop. This is so cute. So this is from um, a little message from Patty to me. Dana just wanted to send a little care package while you are, I think it's recovering from surgery. Just a little something for each of your, um, oh of your, from each of you I, um, to enjoy. Yeah, Kaylee says there's confetti in here yeah, for hers. That's, oh boy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I just, I just vacuumed in here. <laughs> That's fun though. Oh, and there's your Starbucks gift card. Oh, someone was like, well, I want a Starbucks gift card. <laughs> what does it say? I can't read cursive. I know, here, I know, Mike. Do you wanna? Uh, Kaylee, congratulations on your graduation. Here's a little something special to help your, help you celebrate. In, in one of your mom's Videos. Videos. I can't read that one. It's okay. Yeah, videos. Videos. It's vlog. Vlogs. Heard it. Heard it. Her say you were going to Starbucks. You're so always going this, to Starbucks. This gift card for you. This gift card for you. And one of your sisters, Abby, go Abby to go have some yummy drinks when you both have Starbucks cravings. Oh, cute. Happy congratulations. Happy graduation, love, Patty. Oh, very sweet. Thank you, tell her thank you. Thank you. So not only did every little thing she sent have a little tag on it, she also sent me a little uh, card from when I was recovering. Um, she couldn't get the package mailed off in time, um, but I'm still recovering, so it still counts. So then she did another thank you card for when they came to Seattle. So they're the couple that we picked up and took them on a tour of Seattle um, a couple months ago. Had a great time, by the way. That did not feel like an obligation at all. It felt like a very fun um, touristy day with friends. It really, really, truly did. So a lot of this is um, as a thank you um, for us taking the time to do that for them, but it was actually like just a really fun day. Um, and I, that that shows, um, I just want you to, you guys to see that like your friendships, even though they're just little typewritten um, comments and communication, the friendships are real. And it, the, the proof is in the pudding that like if you, you know, reach out to us in comments and you're, you know, having these conversations and you're, you know, we're staying up to date with each other and sharing, you know, life and, you know, you don't have to share your personal life if you don't want to. It just, it makes a friendship and it creates this mini community and Th these opportunities to connect with each other. Um, we've met other viewers in Hawaii multiple times, and I just think it's really, really fun. And I, I have quite literal lap full of treats and trinkets, and like I, this is gonna need to go into my office. Like I, <laughs> this is so fun, like little hairdo. Um, this is so fun, and we are very appreciative. The girls have already scurried off. That I like, do you want? Do you want to go to Starbucks? <laughs> um, but I, I, I will say. So they are very thankful of the gifts that they just got. Um, that was very fun, very sweet of you, Patty, to send all of this and to think of all of them and all the little things that they like. They each took a lotion to put into their backpack for back to school, along with a sanitizer. So that was a really cute idea. And then um, all of them snagged their gift cards really, really quick. I'm gonna put these into my um, folder for stickers. And, um, but I will say, um, this is banana flavored. <laughs> I don't know um, if you tried the pineapple ones, but I don't blame you for not liking the banana ones. Abby likes them, so she's gonna have these. I don't like anything banana flavored, so I don't blame you for not liking those. <laughs> I can't reach it now, it fell on the floor. Story of my life. Um, so anyway, this is probably gonna be a really long video because I didn't anticipate um, having so much to do today that I didn't actually do. Jason went and picked up this package with the girls. I don't know if he filmed that process. Um, I told him to, took, told him to take the camera with him. He ran to Target and you know, a good man is what a man who will go to Target and get you these. Not for the purpose intended for these, but I wanted thin ones without wings and I'm going to line my underwire. I don't have an underwire. I'm just lining the under shelf of my bra because um, it sits right on my incisions. <laughs> so sore and so I'm trying to like see it. I've already cut 
like other pads apart and use them um, to try and like literally pad over my incisions. And it did feel good. It's just that they were like winged pads and they were really big so I had to cut them. And anyway, so good man for going to get me these and we're gonna try that. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for all for helping me. It's funny that like I started this day kind of frustrated and sad and um, kind of feeling attacked by people and then I end it with such friendship and love and, and support from one of you. So I need to remember to focus on the people who are here um, to really connect and um, get appreciation from and not all the haters because I think the haters and troll people um, maybe they're not happy in life and they just feel a need to like attack other people and I just need to like let that go um, and just try and bring positive energy to here on the channel and you don't have to send me stuff in order to like um, feel like I appreciate you your comments your thoughts whatever it means a ton to, to me um, so thank you Easy.